definition of a data mart and uh, so data warehouse is basically uh, consolidated data from different various source systems so so it's a enterprise view or enterprise data view so it's a collection of data from the enterprise different departments of a and of an enterprise but a data mart is a very specific smaller version of a data warehouse where you will have data from a specific department so so to explain this let me take an example let's say we have an enterprise which has a, a, say a manufacturing enterprise which has different departments uh, one department is there uh, is their uh, HR department another department is their finance department Another one is their supply chain department. So all these are separate functions which operate separately and they rarely interact with each other for their day-to-day -day operations. So for performing their day-to-day -day operations, they might not need to access data from the adjoining system. But a person who is sitting on top of all these three systems might need to access all the data to view, to have a summarized view of all the data that is data warehouse which we already discussed but these individual departments could have their own data needs which is very specific to their own departments like a supply chain uh, could have a, a transaction OLTP transaction system to manage their supply chain uh, data supply chain, the prop physical supply chain, which will be in feeded into their transaction system, using which they will manage their supply intake, inventory, uh, all the inventory management and everything. So that particular supply chain system will have their own subject, uh, uh, own data warehouse, small data mart, which will have their, which will sub, uh, which will which will fulfill their uh, specific data needs for that particular uh, uh, department, the supply chain department. So that is called a data mart, which will have data from only that department and, and it will deal with only that single subject. Mm -hmm. It won't have relation with the uh, overall view of this enterprise. So these subject oriented, subject specific uh, data warehouse are called data marts. And uh, since the data mart is small and it looks onto a single, uh, single orientation of data or a single department or single type of data, the building of that data would be building of that data mart would be easier than building a data warehouse which has to have a whole enterprise view and to, and has to suffice the data requirements or the analysis requirements for the whole enterprise. So building a data mart is obviously easier than building a whole data warehouse. So, so that's the difference between having a data warehouse and data mart. So if you see in this slide you can see that uh, there are data marts 1 to 9 inside a data warehouse. So what does that mean? So a data mart is a single uh, subject specific data warehouses and combining all these data warehouses we will uh, data small data marts we form a complete data warehouse. We all these approaches of how to form a data mart from data warehouse and uh, how to design data marts we will discuss further in this class. So this is, so with this we move on to our next slide and uh, so I, I, we act, I actually covered this slide is about the differences between the data warehouse and data marts. I think some of this which uh, I already covered in my explanation but uh, let's go through uh, this, uh, let, let's go through them one by one. So a data warehouse is an enterprise wide data and a data mart is a department wide data. So which we just talked about multiple subject 
uh, a data warehouse is a multiple subject that has multiple sub data from multiple subject areas and data mart have data from single subject areas and uh, a data warehouse is from multiple data sources and limited data sources actually this this particular difference uh, it can depend like uh, so this particular difference is like it is saying that you can have multiple data sources for data warehouse but you can also have multiple data sources for data marks but they will have a specific area from where they pick the data so even if they have multiple data sources they will have from specific uh, data area so both of them can have multiple data sources but uh, it will be it will it will just be the difference will only be the type of data which is being collected in a data warehouse and a data mart obviously a data warehouse since it has all the uh, data from all the all the departments it will be huge and maintenance cost will be huge because it will have you will have to purchase huge servers to store the database and have all the systems in place to keep the data warehouse updated and everything and data uh, in on the other hand the data mart is very specific uh, and so sorry so the data mart is very specific so it will have a shorter uh, it will occupy smaller space and it will be it will be very subject specific so it will you will not need so much uh, and it will okay so it will take shorter time to implement because obviously it's a subject oriented uh, data warehouse so it will you won't need to analyze uh, different aspects of the enterprise to form a data mart you just have to focus on your business requirement and form a data uh, form a data mart within a shorter period of time so it, that that's what it means by when you say longer time to implement and shorter time to implement so those are basic differences between the data warehouse and data mart now let's see what are the different types of data marts so a data mart can be basically of three different types as you see in the screen uh, yeah dependent data mart independent data mart and hybrid data mart theoretically what is a dependent data mart you can see by the name itself a dependent data mart is a data mart which is dependent on something else what is it dependent on it's dependent on a data warehouse so so a dependent data mart is a data mart which is loaded uh, from a data warehouse so you first form a data warehouse then you form a data mart so basically you are supplying data to your data mart from a data warehouse so uh, so it's the data mart is called a depend, dependent data mart because it's dependent on the data warehouse to be updated before a data mart uh, adjoining to it can be updated so that's a dependent data uh, data mart so why why would somebody actually have a dependent data mart uh, so dependent data mart is something which you will have so that you don't have to access the whole data warehouse to fetch certain reports and you want quick turn around time from your source queries from if you fire the same source queries on queries on this huge data warehouse maybe you don't get the uh, performance you need for your reporting so you will form a data mart to get those this is just one of the business scenario there could be multiple business scenarios maybe the because of security reasons the enterprise doesn't want to share the data between uh, data from the data warehouse to a particular department so they just want to give a particular section of the data so for data security purpose they will share a data mart which is updated from the enterprise data warehouse so that is those are the few reasons why you would actually have a data mart. It, there could be multiple business scenarios like this which would need somebody to have a data mart in a dependent data mart. And uh, and the next type of a data mart is a independent data mart. So what is an independent data mart? Independent data mart is a data mart which doesn't. It just depends on the OLTP source which which is available to uh, so the data is directly loaded from the transaction system into the data mart based on the requirement of the reports so that 
that is basically a independent data mart. So in this case the data mart does not depend on a data warehouse to be updated before it is updated and this these data marts are basically used for small organizations and for very specific requirement for that organization which can be easily developed. So if you see the dependent data mart right so in this case the implementation time is double like you have to first create a data warehouse and then you have to supply the data warehouse data to a data mart so it's double work. So an independent data mart is a quick solution for quick requirements for these small organizations. So these organization will plug their OLTP systems to the data marts and then create ad, ad hoc reports or whatever reports they, uh, they want in these, uh, in these data marts directly rather than going through a data warehouse. So that is called an independent data mart. And hybrid data mart is a mix, is a mix of both independent and dependent. So for to explain this, I will give you an example. Like in my one of my projects, uh, the scenario was that there was a customer uh, customer relationship management system, and in that system we had a surveys from different customers and consumers. These surveys are uh, collected uh, from online survey logs uh, and then posted in the OLTP system and the OLTP from the OLTP system the data was read into a OLAP system where the reporting was done uh, on this and the reporting was done on this OLAP system for customer quality uh, customer service quality management but the problem was that they had another a uh, way of collecting the survey informations like uh, they were collecting the survey information from uh, from the customer when they visit the when they visit their uh, kiosks and they will ask them to fill up uh, forms which are hard copy forms return forms and they will ask them to fill it up manually and then they will collect those sheets and the uh, the kiosk uh, manager will enter these uh, these records and rate the data in an excel sheet so they will just collect the data in in the form of excel sheets so these there were multiple kiosks in different uh, locations so they will collect multiple excel sheets so there was a requirement where you had to get the data from the oltp system and uh, the excel sheets and the data warehouse most of the business scenarios will uh, will be hybrid there is nothing clear cut in the real world so there will always be complexity so in this scenario we had to uh, get the file data do the and combine the reports from the file and combine the reports from the data warehouse and form a consolidated report. So this is a kind of data mart where you access the data from the data warehouse which is from the OLTP system and to the OLAP and then we do the report and there is a data warehouse on top of that OL, uh, that data warehouse data is collected and then also the data from these files which are manually filled by the consumers and then uh, there is a consolidated report generated in the data mart. So this type of data mart is called a hybrid data mart. So as we discussed just now about the data warehouse and data mart and everything. Uh, so now we will see how these data warehouses or data marts are built from, from the requirement of a client. So when we go to a client, uh, he doesn't tell you to build a data warehouse for us right he will have a business requirement he will say that okay this is the kind of thing I want to achieve like he will say that I want to understand why my market for certain product is going down he won't tell you that the solution for this is a data warehouse. it's as a consultant you will have to tell him that okay this is uh, this particular requirement of yours can be achieved 
by building a data warehouse and making a rep making different kinds of reports and looking at the reports you will know what to change in your marketing strategy or in in your approach or in your production lines to improve the profit of your company or the sales of your product so let's take an example in this case uh, and to explain these approaches so let's first define these two approaches right like uh, the ones you see on this slide uh, yeah the historical fact in 1998 bill in bill inman had stated the single most important issuing issue facing the it manager this year is whether to build the data warehouse first or the data mart first so this was a question asked by bill and inman so with this, uh, with this questions uh, is what the two approaches are. Uh, with this question in mind is what these two approaches have been uh, designed. So, first approach is top-down approach. Second approach is bottom-up approach. Which is top and which is the bottom? That is the question here, right? So, when in a in a top-down approach. You will first you will first build a data warehouse. So you will first build a data warehouse in a top down approach. So your top is the data warehouse, then you will flow down to different departments in the uh, which are the data marts. So as I told you before, right, building a data warehouse and keeping the keeping the whole enterprise requirement, data requirement in view is a very huge thing. In real time scenario, this top down approach is not really always the solution. It's a, it's a solution in a company where they want to do research or they want to invest so much on a particular, I have worked in projects where they wanted this, uh, this to be an approach. So they don't have a particular business scenario in mind or business requirement in mind, they would say that we want to be competitive in the market, so give me a data warehouse solution. So we, as a consultant, we will go and propose this is a data warehouse solution, and these are your different departments which can have these different data marts uh, from taken out of these data warehouse, and they can use uh, use this uh, data warehouse information specific to their requirement, and then. Uh, and then do their analysis. So this is a complete uh, uh, innovative approach which needs a lot of thinking. So this is a top-down approach where you build the data warehouse first from your OLTP system, make it, sh make sure that it it is uh, as enterprise-wide as it can and as scalable as it can be, and then you 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 can so that this can be used by different systems which are going to come in the future or current of operating systems and it supplies uh, it gets information uh, it gives information to all these systems being a holistic enterprise that's called an enterprise data warehouse so this is a top down approach and the bottom up approach is the reverse which is easier way you build a data mart based on what requirement you have in your particular department and you collect the information from each department what they need which is already available in the data mart and then combine and make a data warehouse and do the consolidated reporting on top of the data mart. So that is bottom up approach which is much easier and which is much quicker and mostly this is, this is the kind of approach which uh, many companies take. Next slide uh, which is about the top-down approach. So I explained to you what is a top-down approach in brief. So a top-down approach is uh, when a data warehouse is built first and then you go on to build the data marts. So yeah, so, so that means that the data warehouse is built on top of the OLTP system. It has information from the old, all the information needed from for all the departments in a single data warehouse might not be that all the all the data in the data warehouse is related it could be independent data also and maybe it's segregated based on departments but it has consolidated data from all the from the OLTP systems all the OLTP systems and it will have information required for the function of each 
individual data marts for different data uh, different departments so the advantages of having this top down approach we talked about few disadvantages which is complicated time consuming but there are certain advantages otherwise we won't have this approach at all right the advantages is that it will uh, when you have a single data warehouse built on top of a OLTP system, the information is centrally accessed by each data mart and uh, the date, sorry, uh, it's centrally located and the time of and the data marts are same. What I mean by time variant, say the data warehouse is a monthly updated system. Your data mart cannot be daily updated it has to be monthly so all the data available across all these systems will be on a certain particular time period so everybody looking at certain data in any of these systems will have the same information at the same time so that is a very huge advantage because different system different people looking at different systems if they have different view then they won't have they won't have the holistic information. It could be said they have wrong information. It could be, yeah, in a way it could be said that it's a wrong information because some people have more updated data than others. So that is a disadvantage in case of, it, it's actually not a disadvantage. I shouldn't say it's a disadvantage. It's just a requirement. So if they don't, if they don't care about the time of the data, then this, business scenario is gone but I'm just telling you what is the advantage of having a centralized data warehouse before it distributed into different data marts so they will have similar information at the same time and yeah and the disadvantage we already talked about few one of them is it's huge data and it it is like it takes a lot of effort and time and cost to implement that particular uh, model uh, that particular approach uh, the data warehouse using that particular approach uh, the top down approach and this approach is the nomenclature by if you look at the nomenclature it's called uh, inman approach from the bill and inman the next approach is uh, bottom up approach where where you build you have an oltp system uh, which is your transaction system you build uh, build data marts uh, required by different departments and by specific requirements for uh, specific reports for specific people. Excuse me. And uh, that data mart, uh, that subject uh, specific data marts will be combined together to form a data warehouse. So in this, uh, if you see in the figure, you see the in the picture you see that there's a OLTP source on your on the left side and then there there are three data marts and then finally there is a data warehouse so the arrow from OLTP to o, data mart 1 and the arrow to OLTP to data mart 2 is independent right so maybe that yeah they are they are independent you can have your data marts 1 2 and 3 updated at different times you can have different kinds of data in these data marts. Maybe they are they are not time bound. Uh, they are not time related across. So it's independent. So you can keep your reports in one going on correctly without thinking about what is happening with uh, data mart three. So they are totally independent data marts. So this is a bottom up approach. So you have a OLTP system, you load your own specific uh, data marts 1, 2 and 3 and then you consolidate all the data marts in, the, uh, in all these three and then form a data warehouse. So this is called the bottom up approach which is easier than the top down approach. So it is uh, obviously quicker to, quicker to build, uh, do, build a data warehouse using this approach. And uh, yeah, the third uh, advantage which is mentioned in this PPT, we already discussed, it's more 
it's broken down so it's easier to manage so so you can manage your whatever happens in one data mart one that doesn't affect the data mart two operations so it's easier to manage and the third advantage you can see is usually startups go for uh, usually startups go for such approaches because it's cost effective it is uh, and it's it's cost cost effective and then it's easier to implement and you don't need much uh, heavy duty resources to implement these data much and then it it's like you are not saying that okay once i build the data where mart i i don't have to build a data warehouse you can always add on systems based on your budget constraints and everything you can add on uh, systems later and then combine it to become a data warehouse so that's why the startups uh, go with these these approaches because they are scalable they can create a data warehouse anytime they want using these data maps and then it's cost effective which i already said okay so so that's about these two approaches